An idea sparked when celebrating their birthday as an organization, the Miracle League of the Lehigh Valley turned 16 here in 2022, and really no better way to celebrate than with a carnival. We had our first carnival in 2019. We had a bunch of groups come out and participate, and the kids got to come and have a fun day in the sun. Um, and so this is our second time doing this. We've got lots of groups today, lots of kids, lots of smiles, cotton candy, and moon bounce, and a dunk tank, and it's going to be a great time. Um, I've been... Help a lot with the carnivals. You help with the carnival. What else did you get to do, Maddie? Win prizes. You got to win prizes. Was it fun? It was fun. What was your favorite activity at the carnival, bud? The, the fishing game. Oh, you got to go fishing. Well, we were invited by the Miracle League to come out and uh, show our support for their summer carnival. Uh, today we brought our firehouse. Uh, we do have our small brush truck, 1062, and the tanker to supply us with extra water. And we're putting out house fires. At the Miracle League of the Lehigh Valley, one of the first things you think of is primarily baseball. But that's not all the organization has to offer with a ton of other programs throughout the year. But certainly one that is a fan favorite has to be the carnival. This is my favorite event of the year. I have so much fun with it. I have fun planning the games and running the games and I go in the dunk tank and all the kids line up to dunk the director. So I have a great time. We love it. I mean, my favorite day, I'm sure a lot of the other kids, this is their favorite day too. It's an amazing opportunity, I think, for all kids. It's not only about baseball and cheerleading, but there's so many activities we get to do during the summer as well as in the winter. There's an amazing, um, we get to, who do we get to see at Christmas time? Ferris. Now Ferris Santa. and Fee. Yeah, we get to see Santa. There's a holiday event and there's lots of activities all year long. There's an Easter egg hunt. It's a sense of community. And at the end of the day, anyone involved left feeling just as happy as the athletes themselves. As with any volunteer organization, our time is donated. Uh, we're all here out of helping our community and moving forward with our community. So coming here today was a great, great event and another great stepping stone for my crew as far as uh, moving forward and donating back our time to the community. And you can't beat all the smiles that you see all day long here. It's fantastic. This is run solely by volunteers. So we have a lot of people that come and they just have a great time getting to interact with the kids one on one. You get to set up a game and you play with the kids and you help them out and you get to see them learn a new skill maybe. And it's really fun for them to get that interaction. Reporting for the Service Electric Network, I'm Cassie Schmidt.